video, we're going to talk about the enhanced object literal feature of ES6, and we're going to talk about default values. So these two concepts are relatively easy to understand. So I'm going to show you how it works. Let's say I create a variable called foo and set it to equals to the string bar. And here I create a new object. So in ES6, there's a new way of doing certain things for objects. Um, traditionally, what this one here does is basically the same as foo, foo. So in ES5, that you may do th things like that. So when you have a key and a property that's the same, you basically need to, you can omit this last part. So this is the same as that. And here I'm setting some private properties for this object with the name called pentacle and age is 5. Here I can actually define a property as a function decoration. So all this is doing is doing a council log and here's the interesting part. So if you watch the string interpolation video, you'll know what this means. This is saying I am this dot underscore name. So it's able to reference this variable here during the decoration of this function. And same for the age variable. This is extremely cool. So and you can really you take advantage of this to make your code much cleaner. And the other amazing thing here is you're able to create a dynamic property. So what's a dynamic property? So if you ever have run into a situation where you need to set the key name of a object to be dynamic, here I'm setting this key name to be prop underscore. And here I'm actually executing a function that returns the, the string called dynamic. So here you could do actually do a lot of complicated things here, you know, like generate a number from one to ten. So you create um, properties based on the return value of this function, and after that you actually create a key name prop dynamic. So it's concatenating these two to be the key name. So if I run this, you can see that um, object foo is bar, which is this, and then if I log the who am I function, it actually returns this string with the correct value substituted in. And then here's the dynamic property. I'm just logging the prop dynamic and it says a dynamic property. So this is very cool. You can use this to quickly make your code cleaner without the old fashioned way, which defined them somewhere else and then set it to them. So I hope you find this one useful. The next topic I want to talk about is the default values. So the default values is a way where you can set a value for the parameter when you pass something into a function. So in the old ES5 way of doing it might be something like this. You need to define a function called x and y. It takes x and y as parameters. And all it does is return x plus y. Now if y does not exist, you want to set it to 0. So here I'm doing a simple if check. If y does not exist, I set y to 0 and then return x plus y. Now the way to do it in ES6 is you can define a function called add and you have two parameters, one is x, but here you can set y equals 0. This will set it to a default, meaning if nothing is passed here or a, non or a um, null value is being passed, it will set the y value to 0 automatically. So you don't have to do this check here. So here all I'm doing is returning the x and x plus y. So if you run this function here, you see if I do call add with 3 and 4, it adds it correctly because y is present. Now if I just call add with the parameter code 3 with no y parameter, it will actually return 3 because y is set to 0 at default. So it's 3 plus 0, which is 3. Now we can actually use this um, default value to create some really useful functions. Here's a function that pushes a value to an empty array. It's called pusher, right? So it takes a value and then it takes an array. Now if the array does not exist, it will initialize it to an empty array. And then you just call this array and then push it, a value to it, and it will return that array. So here I call I left fruits equals pusher and apple. So I didn't pass a second uh, array here. You know I don't need to because it will 
create this is the default value and when you log this the output will be an array with a value of apple in it so this is very useful you can start thinking about um, rewriting some of your old code to use take advantage of this feature and it'll be much cleaner than before so i hope you like this video and stick around for the next video thanks for watching